Okay, just get on in there and take a look at this perfectly cooked, delicious whole chicken. And it's not only going to be the juiciest, most flavorful chicken on the inside, it's gonna be crispy and delicious on the outside thanks to that air fry tender crisp technology. So let us introduce you to a brand new way of cooking that everybody has been going crazy for. The Ninja Foodie, there are Facebook pages, there are YouTube videos. Everybody's coming together and sharing their recipes and how we're preparing delicious, amazing treats and, and meals for our family like never before. So take a look at this beautiful pressure cooker, which from frozen, you're gonna be able to make the chicken, the ribs, you name it, you toss it all in, you press a button and you walk away. But imagine being able to have air fry technology. Imagine never before, and this is the first time you were seeing it, having this be your food dehydrator. Do you pay so much money for the jerkies and the dehydrated strawberries and bananas? Now you're gonna be able to do that in here as well. You're gonna slow cook, you're gonna bake, you're gonna steam, yes, it's gonna make rice, but I tell you what, this is one that you wanna get, you're gonna wanna get home and try. These are our two colors that we have. We are expecting a very early sellout today, best value that you'll find anywhere in the country. So go ahead and jump in the ordering process if you love this cinnamon. Isn't this the most beautiful color? 200 of you can get the cinnamon and it's gone. On Flex, it's only $36. And we do still have the black available for you as well. So those are gonna be your two color options. Again, $36 on any charge card, free shipping and handling as well. But let me just get right into how easy this is gonna make your life and how delicious this is going to make dinner and breakfast and all of the amazing meals that you're gonna create. By the way, we are also streaming live on Facebook. So if you have any questions or comments, we would love to hear from you. I'll go ahead and check that out throughout our show. I want to introduce our special guest. Her name is Kinsey Swanhart, um, amazing author of five cookbooks. Yes. Had a hand in creating this amazing time saver for all of us, and we're thrilled to be launching it here today. So Thank welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. All right, what are we gonna look at first? So like you were just saying, this is the epitome of both tender, uh, tender crisp technology, which is both pressure cooking, air frying combined into one. That so what sense. I've done, what you just saw in the Ninja Food is a tender crisp chicken. Okay. On the left side, you'll see a pressure cooked chicken. Okay. That is gonna be nice and moist and tender, perfect for soups and stews, but really not something that you wanna serve your family and put on the table. Right. What you want is that chicken on the right, and that is a tender crisp chicken. It's been pressure cooked using the pressure lid, and then we switched to the crisping lid, and we got it nice and crispy on the outside, nice and browned. That is going to be the hero of the dinner table during the week. I mean, that's just unheard of, right? because I've cooked a pressure cooked chicken before, mm -hmm. and Yes, you get the moist, delicious chicken that you love, but you don't get the crispiness on mm -hmm. the outside. Look at what you were able to create because there's air fry technology built into this. Exactly. That so is awesome. The Ninja Foodie combines pressure cooking and air frying. Okay. So first what you're gonna do, for uh, something like the chicken is you're going to pop on the pressure cooking lid. So okay. here you have that crisping lid is going to lift up and the pressure cooking lid comes in. You then choose pressure. This is set to high and automatically all of the liquid within the unit is going to heat up above the boiling temp of water, which means that your food is going to cook quickly and it's gonna infuse moisture and flavor. Then you swap the top to the crisping lid and here you see 360 degrees of hot air circulating your food to make sure every nook and cranny is super crispy, golden brown, and delicious. I mean, it's just the, the most amazing concept because I think so many of us are obsessed with pressure cooking mm -hmm. to get that juicy nutrients, everything locked in, but then we're also obsessed with this completely different appliance that air fries. Mm -hmm. You put it in here, you press a couple buttons, and it's setting it up and doing it all for you. There you go. You've got the two-in-one, plus it does so much more, so it's yeah. also going to replace your rice cooker, your steamer, your slow cooker. Yeah. It's going to replace your dehydrator. It also does dehydration. So you're going to get everything right on your countertop in one appliance. And just those three appliances I have purchased separately. <laughs> and I don't even want to think about what I paid for those three appliances. That's why this is well on its way to mm -hmm. selling out. We have two colors left. So go ahead and jump on the line if you want to get this home and try it for 30 days. It's only $36 on your charge card. Of course, we're all smart shoppers. We're doing mm -hmm. a search online right now. Know that we have the best value anywhere, hands down. All right, I no longer can speak. What is, is it? Some, what's <laughs> that the meat? smell, what's can you you smell that? Yes, These are the tender, crisp, sticky barbecue St. Louis ribs. Oh. So just like the chicken, we pressure cooked first using the pressure cooking lid. And this. then we went in and did our air crisp. 
Okay, they don't normally look like that when you pull them out of a pressure cooker. When you pull these out of a pressure cooker, they're gonna be falling off the bone. They're not gonna have any texture to them. Yeah. And you're really missing out on that barbecue smoker flavor. Like Here crispy. what we've done is added, done the pressure first, so you get that tenderness. And then we, before it falls off the bone, we switch to the air crisp feature and we add a little bit of sauce. And that is going to be that perfect um, bite of uh, St. Louis sticky ribs. Oh my gosh. How long did it take to make the ribs in here? Uh, it's gonna take about 40 minutes. 40 minutes. So were they pressure frozen? first. Did you saw them first? These weren't frozen, these were fresh, okay. but you're gonna pressure cook first and then you're gonna crisp and you can crisp to your liking. So if you want them a little crispier, go ahead and let that go a little longer. Uh, how easy is that? So well under an hour to having the best ribs that are not just the pressure cooker fall off mm -hmm. the ribs that we talk about. Look at that crispiness and that caramelization of the barbecue sauce. Oh, mm -hmm. that looks amazing. So if you're loving a lot of these recipes, know that you're getting 45 recipes with your purchase today. You get the stainless steel insert. So whether you're baking, air frying, dehydrating, you get the inserts and the racks included with your purchase as well. But I do want to let you know, and a lot of you are picking up the Ninja Foodie, uh, the pressure cooker that crisps, I just love that, um, a book as well that Kinsey wrote for us and it is autographed as well. <laughs> Were, how many are left? Okay. Okay, fewer than a thousand of you can add the cookbook to your wow. order. So just a great thing to add because you're already getting the Ninja Foodie and you want all of the great recipes and it's only $16.99. Is that right? Okay. It's only $16.99 <laughs> to add that to your order. And this thing, how many recipes is in this? There's 75 recipes it's plus huge. a ton of charts. So Love anything that. you want to cook, you'll learn how to do it in there. Okay. Add that for sure. Okay. <laughs> By the way, two colors left if you're just joining us and this is that beautiful cinnamon. About a hundred of you can now get the cinnamon and then the black... Is it black? Yes. And then the black is going to be your last option. But we're expecting these to sell out very early today. Okay, Kenzie. So we've been talking about all the things you can do now that you're combining pressure cook and air crisp. Right. But what I love about this particular model is you also get the dehydrate feature. So if you're looking for an easy way to incorporate healthy snacks into your kids' lunches, uh, yes. why not dehydrate fruits and veggies for your kids' snacks? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So here what we've gotten is an array of all the different things that you can dehydrate. You can do beef jerky. You can do citrus. You can do apple chips tomatoes, pineapples, even strawberries. The options are really endless. And in the recipe book that comes with your unit, that 45 uh, recipe cookbook, you're also going to have a, a dehydrate chart. So no matter what you want to dehydrate, if you want to dehydrate bananas, beet chips, eggplant, sweet potatoes, my mom's been asking me to dehydrate her some sweet potatoes. Mom, I've never tried you that. You can do anything you want. And that's going to be in the back of the book in this chart. Every single option right along the side, follow your steps, and we're going to teach you exactly how to dehydrate. I mean, think about what you would pay for a dehydrator. I have a separate dehydrator, and it is the most delicious snack to take apples and sprinkle a little, sprinkle a little cinnamon mm -hmm. on them. Or if you just love beef jerky, what do you pay for beef jerky? Exactly. Right? And what is it? Think about the ingredients in that. Um, you're going to be able to dehydrate in this system as well. Mm -hmm. This is one that just does it all. I'm going crazy. <laughs> I have three separate <laughs> machines when this, when the, when the Ninja Foodie does it all. And when you're dehydrating, you're going to use this rack to do that. This is the reversible rack that comes with the unit. Okay. You can use it in the steam orientation and that's going to allow you to steam, bake, and dehydrate. You can also switch it upside down to the broil orientation. I'm going to show you how to use that in a few minutes to make what I call a 360 meal. Uh, but before we do a 360 meal, I'd love to show you one of my one pot wonders that's okay. going to make weeknight meals a breeze. Please. And it's all about the one pot meals, right? It's all about one pot meals. Super Easy. simple to make mm -hmm. and then even easier to clean up. Okay. So we used pressure first to cook a pound of pasta from the box. No need to boil water first. No need to cook your pasta and then cook your sauce separately. We cooked it all in one pot here. And you can see those noodles are perfectly cooked. And that was just a box of pasta just a few minutes ago. So you didn't um, boil water and nope. then make a mess on the stove <laughs> and then have a colander and drain it. You put it all in the pressure cooker and you walk away. I put it all in the pressure cooker and walk away. I believe that's on the low for two minutes. And then what Wait, you're going to... Two minutes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two minutes after pressure to get that perfect al dente pasta. And now we've got some cheese, or I guess a lot of cheese, that we're adding right on top because the best part of a casserole dish is that ooey gooey golden brown cheese on top. Now this is my pepperoni pizza pasta bake, which means it's got pepperoni throughout. So to get started, we seared and sauteed some pepperoni, some onions, and now I'm adding cheese and more pepperonis on top because it's going to mimic a pepperoni pizza. This is a really fun meal to make with the kids during the week 
week. It's gonna take under 30 minutes and you're gonna have a full pasta dish ready to go with no effort required. And once you put the, that stuff in, how long did you say you cook it after? So now I'm gonna place the lid down okay. and I'm gonna use the air crisp feature and we're gonna do it for just five minutes. So if you follow me down in front, here you see, we're gonna choose on the bottom row, broil, right here. And we're gonna actually change our time to just five minutes and hit start. And then you walk away. And then you walk away. The right away, thing. that fan starts, that heat starts, and you can see that little red indicator letting you know the crisping lid is on. While that's cooking, I'd love to show you one of my favorite recipes to make, okay. and that is french fries. Potatoes are my hero. I mean, I too, right? <laughs> so it's so easy to air crisp within the Ninja Foodie, mm -hmm. and that's uh, basically air frying. You were just saying air frying is taking over. It's a great way to make snacks. It's a great way to enter here I made two pounds of french fries. Take a look at that, super crispy and delicious. And these two pounds of french fries were ready in just 28 minutes. Oh my gosh, my oven takes probably 24 of those minutes to preheat. Just to preheat. And the way that they come out so crisp and delicious, yet still so potatoey, gooey on the inside. An air fry french fry is truly the best french fry that you can it have. It really and is. Really hot, FYI. <laughs> <laughs> Super hot coming right out of that air fryer. And what we did here is we used our cook and crisp basket insert that goes right into the cooking pot. And every accessory, the cook and crisp basket, along with the cooking pot and all of our racks are all dishwasher safe and they're super simple to clean. All right, here's the deal. My producer gave me an update that over 7,000 of these are gone. Wow. We are hoping <laughs> to have one other presentation today if we have any of these remaining. Do a search online. We have the best value that you're going to find anywhere and HSN exclusive colors, which makes it even more exciting. If you want the raisin, we're last call. Less than 100 of you. Excuse me, cinnamon. <laughs> it's cinnamon. It's raisin. It's <laughs> both. It, but we're calling it cinnamon. This one is becoming very limited. And then the few remaining that we'll have after that one is gone is going to be the black. So on any charge card, we're going to send this out to you for $36 with free shipping and handling. You get to try it out for 30 days. So you get the basket, you get the nonstick insert, which by the way, 6.5 ounces is what you're going to be able to cook. You have the racks. So whether you are baking, whether you are dehydrating, you have everything that you need right out of the box to really replace six different things in your kitchen. It's, uh -huh. I mean, we've barely even touched the surface of what you're gonna be able to create now that you can you can uh, have that air, air fry technology. Air fry, you can pressure, have the pressure cook. cooker, the slow cooker. And a lot of you, by the way, let me say hello to everybody on Facebook. A lot of you are saying you have the previous version that doesn't have the dehydrator. We were mm -hmm. talking about that. You can get this now when your today's special is coming with that dehydrate feature. Um, in fact, uh, Charlotte is saying on Facebook she got it for her daughter for Christmas. She loves it. She wishes that she had the dehydration feature. Mm -hmm. Terry ordered it. Shirley, Martha, Slack, hello to all of you. Questions and comments are welcome. Let's keep them coming. All right, let's let's do the big reveal. What are we doing now? So now we were talking about all the things you can do. There you can see you can do salmon, rice, mm -hmm. macaroni, mac and cheese. What I love is baking in my Ninja Foodie. So I did a skillet cookie, which is probably one of my favorite recipes within the book. And all the recipes I'm showing you here today, you're going to find within the cookbook mm -hmm, that comes mm -hmm. with your unit. And I'm just going to dig right in. This is an ooey gooey skillet cookie. Oh you might see a, a similar cookie at some of your favorite restaurants. And here we're we're making it right at home. Now I'm gonna slice out a little piece, but I love to just enjoy this right out of the pan. <laughs> I was gonna say, just because people are watching right now. Just because people are otherwise watching. Otherwise it would be face first right into that. So that's in like a little pie dish It's almost. just in a little pie dish. Your Ninja Foodie will also fit a seven quart, uh, I'm sorry, a seven inch uh, cake pan. Okay. So you can use the uh, vessels that you have at home, your pans and things Good like that. Anything that's oven safe for super high temperatures, um, we'll be safe in here. Just make sure it's good to go in the pressure cooker. And of course, the piece de resistance. There you go. A little chocolate on top. I mean, I mean, does dessert get any sweeter than that? Yes, we just need <laughs> some milk over this way. There you go. We're good to go. So that was Slex's question about uh, baking in that and what mm -hmm. pans uh, you can use in that. So uh, again, keep your questions and comments going. And when you're in the ordering process, don't forget, guys, we have Kenzie's cookbook as well. And we are well below a thousand of these. I love that it's the complete cookbook for beginners. For beginners, So when yep. you get all of this technology home, it's so easy just to... Uh, loaded cauliflower loaded soup, cauliflower I mean, just soup. 
open it up and have fun with <laughs> my these amazing favorite recipes. recipe in this book is possibly the strawberry toaster pastries mm. I also have a crispy fish taco you know you can really do so many things 360 meals things like pork uh, teriyaki pork and broccoli there are so many different things that you can do uh, you really just need that inspiration okay so the, what, go, go I'm ahead. sorry, now you said the strawberry toaster <laughs> pastry. I'm like, what? I can't even think now. Uh, if you want the cinnamon less than 50, it's almost gone and that will leave the black. The black, we're hoping to be able to have one more show today, but we are not guaranteeing anything. So if you want to secure yours, know you have that 30 day money back guarantee. Mm -hmm. Wow, was that five minutes already? Look at that, less than five minutes, we put that topping on and it's getting golden brown and delicious. I'm gonna serve a little bit right now, but you can also go ahead and let that keep crisping for longer if you want that to be a little bit darker on top. I personally love to just melt that cheese and render that pepperoni so it's nice and crispy. And look at that. Look at how amazing that is. And that's a lot of food too. That's so going to serve your whole family easy. easy. And what's great is that what, it, it took up no time. It was less mm -hmm. than 10 minutes for the entire meal. That is the extent of the pans that you use, mm -hmm. which are going to be so super easy for you and to clean. And it's dishwasher safe now. So I don't even yeah. have to clean up after I'm done making dinner. 30 minute dinner and then I pop it right in the dishwasher and clean up as a breeze. Yeah. and I can go spend time with the family, but feel proud that I served them something that I made from scratch. So this is, it, it, this is awesome. You know, <laughs> we've said so many times, gosh, a pressure cooker changes your life. Things can be frozen on your way home from work. Mm -hmm. You're not worrying about it because you go home and throw them in. Then we talk about, oh my gosh, air fry technology mm -hmm. gives us the crispy texture on the outside. This has air fry technology built into a pressure cooker. Exactly. We've never seen that before. Then throw in that it's going to be your expensive dehydrator as mm -hmm. well. It's a true six in one because you're also going to bake and do so much more, right? Exactly. So here what you're seeing again is that pressure cooking lid coming to life. We're going to be superheating our liquid up to a steam and it's going to infuse moisture and flavor throughout the food. It's going to cook up to 70% faster than traditional cooking methods. Then what you see is we swap the top to our convection lid and that's going to crisp every corner of your food. So in the chicken, you're going to get every piece of chicken skin nice and crispy. So in addition to being able to cook things like a full chicken for dinner, yeah. an easy way to cook meals at home is to use things straight from your freezer as well. Mm -hmm. So by leveraging pressure cooking and then tender crisp technology with the crisping lid, you're actually able to create three different textures in one pot and make your food from frozen. Cinnamon is gone. Congratulations oh, wow. to you that we're able to get the cinnamon. All colors have sold out. Black is the one that we have remaining. Look online right now. Do a simple search and you will find there are Facebook pages, there are YouTube videos, everyone is sharing mm -hmm. their recipes. Everyone is talking about their Ninja Foodie and what you're gonna be able to create in this. And also while you're doing a search, do a price compare because we have the best value hands down that you will find. And I shouldn't say just for today, just for now, we have black, <laughs> and when the black is gone, that is it. So this is gonna sell out early. This is one of the thing, when my son was, was first born, and I start, well not when he was first born, but when he started to eat uh, mm -hmm. foods, and I started pureeing him foods, a pressure cooker was my best friend. Because yep. you can throw things like potatoes in and walk away. Throw potatoes, throw your yams, throw your butternut squash and cook it. Mm -hmm. Here what I'm doing is cooking potatoes on the bottom, and okay. then I'm using that reversible rack. So you're gonna flip it up into the broil position, and insert it right on top of your potatoes. Just wiggle it right in on top of your potatoes. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is use frozen steak straight from the freezer. So how many <laughs> times do you get home and you're like, I plan to make this elaborate meal. Yep. I forgot to take my chicken out. Totally. I forgot to take my steak out of the freezer. Yeah. Now you're able to cook that steak or chicken directly from frozen. Just listen to That's rock fine. hard steak. <laughs> we're gonna add it right on top of our uh, multi, our reversible rack. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and pressure cook it. Okay. So you're gonna add your pressure lid first right on top. And I wanna walk you through exactly how to use your pressure lid. When you install it right on the top, there's a little seal. You're gonna switch it from vent to seal and that's gonna make sure that all of your steam stays within your pressure cooking lid so that you're actually cooking super quickly and infusing all of that moisture. When you're done pressure cooking, you're gonna switch that knob over to vent. All it is is a little twist of the thumb. It's not gonna be super um, like secured into a place that's on purpose mm -hmm. you're just going to switch it really easily right from left so we're going to keep it in seal and go around to the front we're going to choose pressure cook now so i'm going to turn the unit on 
And I'm gonna walk you through this control panel. Okay. On top, when you put your pressure cooker lid on, the top row illuminates. It's really, really smart. Let me show you how that works. I unclick it, and then I click it right back in, and that UI is, or that control panel is gonna light up. Top row is illuminated. When you switch the lid to your crisping lid, the bottom row illuminates. The foodie knows what lid is on, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and choose pressure. Okay. High, and we're gonna go down, and we're gonna just cook this for one minute. Oh, two minutes, one minute. Click start. Again, your pressure starts building automatically. Okay. That little snake is letting you know that pressure is building, and when it's done, it's gonna switch off to a countdown. It'll count down, and then it'll turn to keep warm. Okay, so, so why did you do just one minute? It's just one minute, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook the potatoes and the steak really quickly, infuse all of that moisture throughout, tenderize the potatoes, but what we're gonna do is switch our lids, and we're gonna crisp the steak. Okay, oh. <laughs> which again, normally in a pressure cooker when you make a steak, yeah. you get it juicy and delicious, but it's, you know, it's, it's definitely not crispy. No, 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 it's almost like a gray steak. We don't yeah, want to serve gray steak. We want to serve that perfect steakhouse crispy crust steak. Brilliant. So now we switched the lids. After we pressure cooked, we crisped for about 12 minutes. Follow the recipe in the book. It'll tell you how long to get your perfect doneness from medium rare all the way to well done. And then we added some asparagus when we did the crisping lid as well. So now we're gonna take those asparagus out. They're perfectly cooked to like a steam roast. They're gonna be uh, crisp tender, not tender crisp, but crisp tender, that snap that you love from asparagus. And now look at these steaks. They are perfectly cooked just like a steakhouse. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna cut right into one to show you what I mean. That's not what a steak normally looks like when you take it out of a pressure cooker. No. <laughs> it's not like it's moist and delicious, but it definitely doesn't have that yummy outside. Exactly, it doesn't have that uh, crisp outside, that rendered fat on the outside, and you're never able to get such a perfect doneness. We were able to get this beautiful medium rare, and again, just minutes ago, so thir about 30 minutes start to finish, this was a frozen piece of steak. You saw me put it in there directly from frozen. Now, we love steak, but one of my favorite parts of this meal is actually the mashed potatoes that we're able to create. Yeah. So underneath of our rack, when yeah. we switched the lids, we took the rack out for a moment and mashed our potatoes and added some cream and cheese. Oh my because gosh. Because cheese, butter, and cream make the world go round. Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> <laughs> so here what we were able to do is crisp that cheese, I'm sorry, crisp that cheese in the mashed potatoes and create oh. these luscious, mashed potatoes, you would pay so much to get that out of steak. I, I can't even stand it. And then you've got a little bit of that steak sauce. You got a that little bit of that steak. On it. It's just delicious. And how long did that entire meal take again? This is gonna take about 30 minutes. Again, depending on your desired doneness. 30 minutes. From frozen. From frozen. From the potatoes not being done. You didn't boil any water on the stove and dirty up a thousand pans. You put everything in one pot, which that's why one pot cooking is where it's all at right now, right? Exactly. You put everything in one pot and then you, you walked away, essentially. You just changed the lid when you were ready for the air fry portion of that. Mm-hmm. So Look at so that, beautiful. amazing that you can eat like that on a Wednesday, right? <laughs> exactly. On a random Any night. night of the week. You don't even have to defrost your steak first. You don't have to plan ahead. And yeah. what I love is that these 360 meals are easy to pull together with whatever you have in your pantry. So maybe you don't have frozen steak or you didn't have potatoes. What you can do is take a look at our Choose Your Own Adventure chart. Do you remember those books when you were a kid, Choose Your Own Adventure books? Yes. Do you want to hop down the rabbit hole or go uh -huh. through the forest? That's exactly what this is built off of. You're going to choose a protein, a starch, and a vegetable from this chart and just follow step by step with what you have in your cabinet. So if you have salmon, if you have chicken, if you have broccoli or asparagus, you can step step by step and it's gonna tell you exactly how long to cook each piece of your meal from pressure to crisp. That's how easy it is. Mm -hmm. So you get that plus 45 recipes included. In fact, come over here because I want to show you again everything that you're getting with your mm -hmm. best buy of the day and remind everybody that I think we started with four colors. We have one. This is it. So this is your final opportunity to get Ninja in that great, uh, the, uh, the Ninja Foodie in that black, which mm -hmm. a lot of us are loving. Now you get both of the lids. Both of the lids. And all you do is interchange them from the air fry to the pressure cooker. Exactly. That top row is going to be used with the pressure cooking lid, and then the bottom row is used with the crisping lid. So you're just going to swap that top if you're doing tender crisp. If you're air frying or baking, use the crisping lid. If you're steaming or slow cooking, use the pressure lid. So here's the six and a half quart uh, pan that you're going to use, nonstick technology, 
dishwasher safe. Mm -hmm. There's the air fry basket. Here's the two interchangeable baskets as well. And of course that recipe booklet. Mm -hmm. um, great questions on comments and yeah. maybe we can head back over there. Um, uh, they're asking about the condensation little catcher yes. on the back. Yes, so this is right in the back of the unit. It pulls right out. This is your condensation catch. Mm -hmm. When you're using a lot of steam and moisture might collect in the back, it'll collect in the catch and you're just gonna wanna empty it, rinse it and put it back in. Easy peasy. Easy so it's peasy. just that one appliance on your kitchen counter that mm -hmm. does so much. And mind you, we talk so much about air fry and pressure cooker. It's still your slow cooker. It's your dehydrator for the first time mm -hmm. ever. And dehydrators, I paid about $100 for my dehydrator. <laughs> you're going to be able to dehydrate. And they're way more expensive than that out there as well. You're going to be able to dehydrate in this. You're going to be able to bake in this. Bake. Like This is going to replace your oven and so much more, right? I love using this as a replacement for my oven in the summertime when you don't want to heat up the whole house this is able to heat really quickly it's going to cook your food quickly and you can follow your favorite recipes mm -hmm. my recommendation when you're following your favorite recipe is to just turn that temperature down by about 25 degrees because it's going to get super hot super fast because of how compact it is gosh all right let's go back over and show some more yeah. delicious meals it really is that moment where you're like you know what i want to eat at home i want to eat healthier mm -hmm. i want to save money but you try to do it maybe you had that new year's resolution and it always is oh i didn't take that out of the freezer <laughs> this morning or I didn't prepare what am I going to cook you can get creative and I love that the recipe book you're getting with this allows you to go in your pantry and choose a starch choose a can of vegetables mm -hmm. or whatever you may have and then frozen meat and then toss it all in and walk away and you're eating something like this steak and mashed potato dish in under a half hour exactly. like it really is that easy and that good from freezer to table right yeah. that's so simple and you're gonna feel really happy about feeding your family this food sure. that you cooked. Yes. So here is another example of the Air Crisp feature at work. <sighs> we made two pounds of chicken wings, and these were actually also from Frozen. So just like the steak, I popped the chicken wings right out of the freezer, popped them in to the Cook and Crisp basket right here. We pressure cooked first. If you're using fresh wings, you're just gonna use the Air Crisp feature, but if you're using Frozen, you're gonna pressure cook first. And just look at how much that Cook and Crisp basket, this is a four quart uh, air crisp basket can hold. We're gonna pop those right out. It's hot. Be Woo! <laughs> There's, There's so, so many. They don't even. <laughs> That's a so big capacity. So many chicken wings. And then decorate it, or I should say, um, accompanying it with your favorite sauce. If you like a teriyaki, great. If you want to use buffalo, like I have here, this is going to make entertaining for the big game so simple. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about cooking when you have people over. Have fun with the people you have over, and let the ninja foodie do all of that work for you. Oh my gosh. And the thing is, is that those wings will be so full of moisture and so juicy on the inside because when you cook under that pressure cooking technology, the moisture and the nutrients, everything gets trapped within the food. But then with the air fry, you have that crispiness on the outside. Mm -hmm. So it's ugh, so fabulous. So this is that cook and crisp basket. I want to mm -hmm. talk you through this because this was specifically designed to get every nook and cranny super crispy. This is an air fryer, but it's a super awesome air fryer that's gonna get everything super hot, super quick, and super crispy. We've designed it specifically for that, and it actually also has this removable uh, this removable diffuser at the bottom, which makes Ooh. it super easy to clean. They're both dishwasher safe, but remove it for easy convenience and then pop it back on. We get a lot of questions on how to clean that bottom piece, yeah. and we've made it really simple. We thought through every single thing on the Ninja Foodie yeah, to did. make it as intuitive and easy as possible. Another thing that we that keep, makes us unique from other pressure cookers is yeah. actually the diameter of the Ninja Foodie. So this is actually a six and a half quart uh, pressure cooker, but it, we've widened the diameter, so it's going to be a wider pot than traditional pressure cookers. Nice. That's so that you can sear all of your food without crowding the pan. If you crowd the pan when you're using the stovetop feature, mm -hmm. you're actually not gonna get it super crispy. Ah, that's good to know, right? Really so you don't have to, to worry know. about with that. Um, just a little side note, if you want Kenzie's cookbook, the complete cookbook for beginners, less than 800 of you can wow. now get this. So how many recipes did you say? 75? 75 plus tons and tons of charts. And autographed, by the way. So this is a great <laughs> accompaniment just to right out of the 
box be able to go with lots of yummy recipes. So go ahead and add that to your order. It's $16.99. We getting a little healthy with some veggies? Yes, and so we've got some roasted veggies. I love the texture of the veggies you're able to roast on this rack mm -hmm. because they almost remind me of like a wood fire roasted veggie. Oh my gosh. Then what we went ahead and did is use that sear saute feature like I was telling you to actually sear off some short ribs and pressure cook them. So this was kind of like a reverse 360. We did the, the ribs on the bottom, we pressure seared and then pressure cooked, and then we added the veggies on top on that rack. And just look at how many ribs I'm actually able to pull out and they're fall off the bone, tender and delicious. Oh uh, short ribs are really trendy right now and if you can make them at home and Look, you're going to be serving your family gourmet restaurant style meals but out of the Ninja Foodie. look at the crispiness. You know what? It's You've solved the problem of what uh, the, the one bad thing about pressure cooking might be mm -hmm. is that the food that comes out of it, you don't get that crispiness, right? right. Like you see there. Because you've, you've incorporated the air fry, listen to that. You've got that kind of crispy caramelization on the outside. And I know this knife is for something else. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just getting right in there. Um, look what you were able to do with the veggies and the potatoes. That is gourmet. How long did that take in the Ninja so Foodie? So start to finish, that is going to take under 45 minutes again. So all mm. of these meals are going to be super quick, simple, and delicious. Mm -hmm. And you're, again, controlling ingredients start to finish. So if you yeah. don't want to use carrots and you want to use onions or you want to use sure. zucchini, just swap them in and out and you are able to actually control every single step of the process. And again, you're going to learn something you're gonna have a lot of fun with the foodie in your kitchen yeah. and you're gonna become a foodie so well over 9,000 gone now about 2,000 left only in the black this will sell out I believe we'll have enough for maybe one more show unless it sells out in this one wow. so jump on the line <laughs> it's only $36 on any charge card and even if you're brand new to HSN use those flexible payments that's the easiest way to get things home and try it out for 30 days in your home absolutely risk-free because of our 30-day return policy we're even shipping it to you for free. You throw everything in. I know that we created some amazing meals, but we didn't even touch the surface of what you're going to be able to create <laughs> in this. So we've got one more reveal that we want to share with you. Mm -hmm. I know we've only got a few seconds left. So, yep. so let's dive into a super simple way that to use cool. your air fryer. This is my gourmet Grilled cheese. Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, the smell of grilled cheese when you opened that made my day. It was so good. So this is a favorite at the Ninja Test Kitchen because yeah. it actually gets both sides of your grilled cheese super golden brown and delicious. And you're able to make two grilled cheeses at once. Again, in just minutes, you're going to butter each side of your grilled cheese. And let's dive in and see that melty yeah. cheese because that's probably the best part, right? I can't do grilled cheese like that on my stovetop. I have tried for years. No. No, I am a failure. I admit it. Look at, can you see the crispiness and like the cheese is all brown on the side? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's what you want from a grilled cheese. <laughs> it's the most amazing concept that it is a, a air fry technology, but also your pressure cooker. Don't forget, it's also your very expensive dehydrator. You're going to bake in this. Yes, you're going to make rice in it. It is one pot cooking at its best. Black is the final color remaining. Best value that you're going to find anywhere is right now. So get yours home and try it for $36. And don't forget about Kenzie's wonderful cookbook because that's still available <laughs> for you. you.